In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and activate your Elementor Pro and the Elementor Pro license. So I'm over here on my website and the first thing you have to do is to log into your WordPress website. So I'll go to my login page. I'll enter in my username and password. Log into the website. That should bring you straight to the admin area or the dashboard of your WordPress website. Then we are going to go to plugins and we're going to say add a new plugin. I'll first install the free version of Elementor because you can't use Elementor Pro without having the free version. So install Elementor, then activate it. So this will take you to a page like this that will ask you to connect your Elementor to your Elementor account. And I'll close this page. So I'm imagining that you already have Elementor on your website, the free version, and you want to install the pro version of Elementor. So here we have a menu item called Elementor. And when we come over here and we say upgrade, okay, and if you don't have a license already purchased, this is the page where you can purchase a license for either one site, for three sites, for 25 sites, or even up to 1,000 websites. So if you go over and purchase your license over right here, you'll be taken into the Elementor account. But if you already have the Elementor account and you have the license, all you have to do is to log into your Elementor account. And you can do that by either going to here and say login. And once you log in, you'll have this kind of interface of your Elementor account. So if you have a license that you already purchased from Elementor, when you go to billing, so in this case, I have the Elementor Pro license, which has 1000 activations. And this is the active license that I want to add to my other different Elementor websites. So the first thing you're going to do once you have your Elementor Pro license is to download the zip file of Elementor Pro. And this is a separate plugin apart from the Elementor free version that you already have installed on your WordPress website. So I'll say download. Alternatively, you can also download it from right over here and say download my Elementor Pro a plugin. So I'll just say here, download. Now, once I have that download completed, I'm going to come back here to my website. And here I'm going to go to plugins and I'll say add a new plugin, upload. And here I'll come and choose a file from my downloads folder. I'll select my Elementor profile and then I'll say install. Good. Once your plugin is installed, you'll have the option to activate that plugin. So let's say activate. Good. Now we have our Elementor free active and we have our Elementor pro active, but it is not yet connected to our license and we will not be able to use the Elementor pro features at the moment. So let's say connect and activate. It will ask you to connect to your Elementor account and here it will show the email account of that Elementor account that you have where you have your license purchased. So you say activate my license. And congratulations, you have now connected your Elementor Pro license to your Elementor account. And that means that you are now able to use the Elementor Pro features. Now, the other way to check if your license is still active and connected to your website, you can go back here to your Elementor account. Once you reload that page or once you log in and you will see that you have that website added into the section of the active websites on Elementor Pro. Alternatively, when you come over here to your dashboard and you come here straight to Elementor and go to license, you'll see the license information right over here, including the account that is connected to that website from Elementor. Okay, let's try to use one of the pro features from Elementor. I'm going to come here to pages. I'll say add a new page. Then I'll say edit with Elementor. I'll skip this. Now, when we come down below here to the Elementor Pro section, you see that now we are able to use the Pro features that come in Elementor. And you are able to edit and play around with all the Pro features that come in Elementor, including the theme builder, the header, the footer, the single posts, and all that. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.